I'm Demarius Thomas. Uh, I finally came to a decision to hang it up. I'm gonna retire and uh, I'm gonna retire Denver Bronco. I'm honored, I'm grateful, um, I'm appreciative. There's so many things I can say and um, I'm just happy to say I'm done and it, it, it did me well. Always as a kid, or always when I did something, it was it was always my best to go and go and go. And football was my goal. And every year I tried to get better and better. And with the 22nd pick in the 2010 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Demarius Thomas. Uh, draft night. Uh, it was one of the most, I would say one of the most exciting nights because with my uncle, aunt, um, cousins, 22nd pick and I was the first receiver taken. To be able to get drafted in the first round coming from Tech, um, it was it was it was it was good for me. My first touchdown in the NFL, I would say Seahawks left side. Uh, I think it was week two. Kyle Orton. That was my first touchdown in the NFL. Throws pass off. Demarius Thomas out over the 45 midfield. Here we go. 40, 35 foot race. 20, 15, 10. Touchdown. It's like it was yesterday. Every time I see it, every time I watch it, I still get the chills because it was just crazy. I'm very excited to begin the next chapter of my playing career for the Denver Broncos. I was nervous at the time. I ain't even gonna tell no story. I was nervous. I'm like, man, I'm gonna get a chance to play with Peyton. A lot of guys don't get that. I don't care what they say with the injury or not. It just was learning the game and being around it. And, and that was some of the, some great times. Shotgun snap, pass to Demarius Thomas. Thomas at the one and steps into the end zone. Touchdown, Denver. Peyton Manning's fourth touchdown pass of the first half. He's got 55 on the season. Nobody gonna stop that 10. Five guys with 10. Me, Eric Decker, Wes Welker, Noshaw Marino, and Julius Thomas. <laughs> so somebody gonna have to go throw a lot of touchdowns. Touchdown, Demarius Thomas. Move over, Brett Favre and make room for the new king. Winning the Super Bowl, oh, for sure, that's the ultimate goal of, of playing ball in there, for sure. Everybody that was on that team, I don't want to call names because I don't want to miss nobody because it was a special time for all of us. And um, I still remember Super Bowl 50 right here. It's on me. I ain't gonna never forget it. <laughs> You know, I remember my mama going to prison, and uh, I told her, I was like, it's something I'm gonna go pro in, because she, me and her played together mostly the sports, basketball or football, whatever it was, and when they went away, I, you know, I got good at football, and I just chased it, chasing and taking chasing, and it have did wonderful things for me and my family. I've been able to get my mom and grandma out of prison. I don't know if football did it, but when in the Super Bowl meeting Obama, after that situation, they both kind of got out, uh, which I'm thankful for, but uh, football had done a lot. Even when I was a ball player, I tried to, you know, be calm, be humble, because at the end of the day, I wanted to be seen as Demarius Thomas, not the football player Demarius Thomas. So, you know, that's why I stay under the under the radar and not the way. And I, I will say this to all the fans. I wasn't a big Rob Wild, I didn't speak, talk much, and I, I love all y'all. I would always love y'all. <laughs> I don't think there's nowhere better to play. I, I haven't witnessed it yet. Um, the crowd, even when you up and down, you know, winning or losing, they always behind you. I witnessed it. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a great atmosphere. It's a great place to play. I just want to consider this one of the best that come through there. Um, I try to do my, my best. I put it all on the line each and every week, even at practices. I try to practice all the time. You know, I played 122 games straight, and there's a lot of people who couldn't say that. And it wasn't just all about going and get the catch. It was times when we need a big block, I might do that, or whatever it was. I was just making sure I could be there for my team and my guys so I can, you know, take pressure off somebody maybe, or you know, spring up or open a big block for somebody, whatever it was. It wasn't never really about me. Um, I was trying to do it for the team. For the last, you know, year or so, or whatever it's been, just been trying to find myself. Uh, of course, you know, leaving ball is a tough thing. It's a, it's a tough thing to get away from because guys, 
be trying to find that urge to do next. And it's nothing, it's nothing like ball that you can do next. So I've just been working on myself and trying to find myself, of course, getting love from my family and friends. But the main thing is just, just working on self and trying to find what I'm gonna do next and, you know, building relationships where I can, you know, have people around that, that gonna really help me out because it ain't easy. I ain't gonna say that. It ain't easy leaving football. So that's my main thing is just, you know, trying to find self and uh, put our love 